everyone. So in some of my previous videos, we have seen how we can enable intelligent access sharing storage class for objects while uploading them from the terminal or from management console, right? So in this video, what we're going to see, we will see how to move objects from frequent access storage class into deep archive access tiering, all right? So the thing is, whenever we enable intelligent access tiering storage class for objects, what intelligent access tiering storage class does, it use frequent or standard storage class initially for first 30 days. And if the object not access for 30 days, then it will move the objects into infrequent access tiering storage class. And then if it's not accessed for 90 days, then the objects will be moved into archive instant access sharing storage class. And if it's not accessed for 180 days, then the objects will be moved into deep archive access sharing to storage class, right? So that's how infrequent access storage class tiering works. But the problem is for some cases, we want specific object to be moved into deep archive access sharing storage class straight away. We don't want to wait 180 days and it will help us to reduce some cost, right? So in this video, we're going to see how we can make sure for some objects, it will be moved into deep archive access sharing storage class straight away once it has been uploaded into an S3 bucket. All right, so without further ado, let's start. So what I'm going to do, as you can see in my screen, I will go to properties tab. So here you can see there's a section called intelligent tiering archive configurations. So here I'm going to create a rule. So let's click create configurations. Let's give a name to this rule. Let's say rule conf. And then I can specify this rules to be, then I can specify this rule to be applicable for all the objects, or I can limit the number of, of objects that these rules can be applicable for. So here I can specify whether this rule to be applicable for all the objects, or I can limit the number of objects for which this rule will be applicable. All right, so I will choose the first one, and then I will give a tag to this rule. So what this tag means, it says, whenever we upload an object into a strip bucket, and, and if that object has a specific tag that we define here, it will be moved into deep archive access tiering storage class straight away. All right, so let's give a tag to the rule. So, so let's give a tag. So let's specify the tags for our objects. So let's say if the object has a tag called type, and if the value is archived, then that object will be moved into deep archive access tiering storage class, right? So that's what we want. We make sure the rule is enabled by default, and then we have to specify the actions. So we just choose deep archive access tiering, and then we can specify the number of days until transition to deep archive access tiering. So in this case, it's 180 days, right? So that's all we want. If everything looks good, then I will click create configuration rules. As you see, the rules has been created. So what I'm going to do now, I will upload an object into this bucket with intelligent access tearing storage class. So I will click on upload button and then add files. Then I will choose an image. So let's select an image from my local machine. Let's choose my driving license. That's all I want. And in properties tab, I choose intelligent tearing storage class. And in the tag section, I will specify the tags. The tag is called type and the value will be archived. That means as soon as this object will be uploaded into S3 buckets, the object will be moved into deep archived existing storage class straight away. So that's how for certain objects, we can move them from frequent access tiering to deep archive access tiering. That's all. Thank you.